So in the previous video, uh, we reintroduced the mean, median, mode, and range, and the interquartile range, for that matter, and of two sets of data. And we saw that in all of those cases, they were exactly the same. And so with the processes that we have at GCSE, we didn't have a way of comparing the data. And so in this video, we're going to start to introduce a way of doing that. And in order to get to a way of comparing the data, we need to first look at something known as the sum of the squares. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with a very basic five number example. Okay, so 3, 5, 8, 10, and 14. Okay, now the best way to really uh, visualize this is to draw a number line. So if I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. So let's go up to 15. OK, so there's my number line. And then I've got the number 3, so 0, 1, 2, 3. Then I've got 5, 4, 5. Then I've got 8, so 6, 7, 8. Then I've got 10, so 9, 10. And 14, so uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is what my data looks like visually. Uh, so you can see kind of how spread out the data is. So we want to determine a way of looking at how spread out data is. And one way that it would make sense is to, well, how about the mean? Um, if we could look at how far apart each of those data points are away from the mean and somehow find an average of that number, then that would be a good way of seeing how spread out the data is as a whole. So we're going to need to work out the mean. So the mean we're going to write as x bar. Okay. So x bar and how we calculate the mean, well, we add them all up and divide by how many there are. So we add up all of the x's. Okay, so the sigma represents um, adding them all together. So we add up all of the x's and then divide by how many there are. And so x bar is the sum of x divided by n. So we get our calculator and we get 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 14, and that gets me 40. So 40 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 8. Okay, so in our case, x bar is equal to 8. So on our number line, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is our mean, okay? So as I said, we're going to look at how far each data point is away from the mean. So I want to look at this distance. OK, so that distance. And I want to look at that distance. And I want to look at this distance. And I want to look at this distance. OK, so it would make sense then to get each of the data points and then take the mean from each one. OK, so x take away x bar will give me a valuable, well, a valid distance. So x bar was 8, so 3 take away 8, well, that's minus 5. Uh, 5 take away 8 is minus 3. 8 take away 8 is 0. 10 take away 8 is 2. And 14 take away 8 is 6. OK, now, if I then wanted to find the average of these distances, then I would add these up and then divide by how many there are. It would be like finding the mean of these numbers. The only problem is that minus 5, minus 3, 2 and 6 add up to 0. They all cancel each other out. So just adding them up and dividing by how many there are isn't going to tell me anything. Okay, 0 is really not going to help. So in some way, I need to make these positive, make them positive numbers. 
And in order to do that, well, one process that will make positive numbers is squaring them. That will make them positive. So if I square each of these values, so I'm going to find x minus x bar squared, then that will make them all positive. Minus 5 squared is 25. Minus 3 squared is 9. 0 squared is 0. 2 squared is 4. And 6 squared is 36. So now, if I add them together, okay, then this is, will be the sum of the x minus x bar squared. So I have 25 plus 9, plus 4, plus 36, and that's 74. Okay? And this is what I refer to as the sum of the x squareds, or the sum of the squares. So this is the sum of the squares. Sxx. Okay? And that's equal to 74 in this case. Now, the sum of the squares, Sxx, is given to us in the formula booklet. Okay? Um, but in this format, it's a little bit unmanageable. Okay? So we don't want to have to do this every single time. So it's actually much easier to use this formula which is where you add up all of the x squareds and then take away n times x bar uh, squared. Sorry. n times x bar squared. And this uh, will find you exactly the same result. And you might want to try it. Do an x squared column, add them together, and then take away F uh, 5 times 8 squared and see that you get to exactly the same answer. Okay? So this is the sum of the squares and from this we are going to find um, four different ways of analysing the data. Okay? And I'm going to explain to you what each of those means in the next video.